Hello everyone and welcome to a new Future Programmer programming tutorial. In today's video, we will continue learning about the Python package matplotlib. More specifically, we will be talking about how to change the styles of the plots that we produce. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Last time, we talked about how to create simple line plots using matplotlib.pyplot.plot. Today, we're going to talk about how to modify the styles of our plots. To start off, let's import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Now by default, a matplotlib plot will have a style that looks like this. Plotting two points using plt.plot and showing that graph we can see a single solid blue line with no marker on it shown on my screen. So this is the default style of a matplotlib plot. Today, we're going to talk about how to change the color, the line style, and the marker style of a matplotlib plot. So first thing is customizing the color. We can use either the color or the C parameter to do the same thing, which is to modify the color of the plot. The plt.plot function takes either color or c. Now, it doesn't really matter which one you use, this is just shorter to type if you would prefer that. They do the exact same thing, which is changing the color of this line. So here, this first line is going to have a color of red, and the second one is going to have a color of this specific hexadecimal representation of this color value. Now we can definitely use color here or maybe use C here. It doesn't really matter because they will do the same thing. For some of the more common color values, we can just pass in the name, red, orange, green, blue. And for more specific colors, you can pass in the hex representation of these values. So we can see two lines plotted on my screen with the specified values that we passed here. To change the line style of our plots, we can use the line style or the ls parameter. They do the same thing, which is changing the line style of plots. Here are the accepted values according to matplotlib's documentation. So to plot a solid line, which is a default anyway, we can pass in line style is equal to either a dash or we can just pass in the word solid. That's maybe that may be easier to remember. And then a dashed line, we can pass in two dashes or the word dashed. Same thing for dash dotted, you can pass in a dash and a dot, or the word dash dot. For a dotted line, you can pass in a colon or the word dotted, and if you want to draw nothing, you can pass one of these four values. So in this cell, we plot five lines. Running this code, we can see four. So the first one right here, the blue one, has a line style of a dash, so that's solid. The orange one has a dashed line. This is a dash dot line, the green one is a dash dotted line, and this is a dotted line. Now, you can see that we don't see a line down here at y is equal to 1, but that doesn't mean it's not plotted there. We just passed in line style as none, so it's not shown to us. It does leave the space though, so you can maybe get creative with that and think about how you can use that in some of your plots. To change the markers in the plot, now what this will do is let's take a look at our plot again. In this plot, we can see in our code that we have two points, one comma one and two comma two. But technically, if we just look at this graph, we don't know if there's a point at say 1.5 comma 1.5. So what markers do is markers mark where the points of our graph actually are. So here we can pass in here are the, some, some of the more commonly used marker parameter values. Here is a link to the full list of accepted valid marker values, which I will also link in the description of this video. And here we can just see some of the more commonly used ones. So marker is equal to dot is going to give us circles. Let me just plot this for a second. So dot is going to give us, well, dots. And then capital D is going to give us diamonds. Star, this asterisk here is going to give us some stars. And the squares here is produced with the letter S right here. You can also change other attributes of our markers, such as their size, color, etc. I would encourage you to look up how to do so 
yourself, and if you would like to, you can use them in your own programs. To wrap everything up today, let's talk about how we can pass in a single format string into the plot function call to customize the marker, line, and color of the plot in one go. So we can pass a single parameter, FMT, with a string value to customize all three of these style values. So this is the order that you want to pass this string in. So it will have essentially three parts to it. The first part is going to be the specification of our marker style. Is it a diamond, a star, or something else? And then we pass in the line. So that's gonna be dashed, solid, whatever it is. And then lastly, the color. So for example, if you want to make a plot that is, well, it has square markers, it is dashed, and it is red, well, you can pass in the format string of S for square markers, double dash for dashed line, and red color using the string, the character R. So let's take a look at our plot. S dash dash R is going to give us a red dashed line with square markers. And guess what this will be? Well, this is going to give us some O's, so that's going to be some points, circles essentially, dash, that's going to be a solid line, and G stands for green. So indeed, we see a green line, solid line, with circles as the markers. So that's how you can customize the styles of your matplotlib plots. And that's it for this video on changing the style of our plots in matplotlib. If you would like to learn more about programming and support this channel, please consider subscribing down below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section and I will do my best to help you out. With that said, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in future programming tutorials. Thank you.